Hi, I'm Brandon with High Anxiety, and this Ty is at home quarantine. Hey, stop that! I don't want a copyright strike. Uh, today's video is going to be um, kind of a running theme thing going on here that I have. I, I, I tend to buy things and having kids and a wife that I want to spend time with and a job, I don't have time to open up all my toys. I am lucky enough to have a complete set. I'm sure they're not that hard to find, but still it doesn't matter. I have them. So when these were first announced, I said, eh, eh. I'll get them. I'll get them. I don't need to do it right now because when they first dropped for pre-order, the Back to the Future from NECA set was announced and I pre-ordered it. And even though Big Bad Toy Store doesn't take your money until the release date, I still was thinking, oh, I can't do this and that. That's just too much all at once. So I let it go, and then Ty ordered the set, and he got them and posted them, and I was super jealous, and I was just like, I can't believe I missed out on that. So I said, I'm going to do it now, and I went to order it, and I had everything in my cart, and then there was an error, and Egon was not available, and you can't have a set without Egon. You can't do it. Buy a whole set and not have Egon just wasn't going to work. So I, I passed and I complained to Ty about it. And uh, I did a favor for Ty, helped him build a desk. And as a surprise thank you gift, one day I come home and still, still just love you so much for this, Ty. So this is. The Ghostbusters Plasma line. I think. I think that's what it's called. The Ghostbusters Plasma line. And I really am excited to open these finally. I've dabbled in some Ghostbusters figures. They look good, but they just didn't look great for the price. And all the proton streams broke off. And I just wasn't a fan of how cheap it felt. So I stopped collecting them and we're going to do this today. So Egon was first and then I went back to Hasbro Pulse. Everything was there except for Winston. And I was just having such terrible luck. And I realized that he bought this, I bought this for me from Amazon. So I went on Amazon and I got Winston. And I quickly started thinking, man, I should have ordered all of them on Amazon because Hasbro Pulse took two weeks to get me my toys. So now, on top of Egon and Winston, we now have Peter Venkman, Ray Stands, Dana Barrett. If you look very closely, you will see a terror dog head, a terror dog body, 
a terror dog arm. Another terror dog arm or leg. Arm. Leg. What does that mean? Oh, that means that there is a terror dog build a figure. And what if you want to? You're out of luck unless you buy them all again. Or somebody resells the build a figure. So we're going to start with. I said Zul, this is Gozer. We're going to start with Gozer. Uh, a really cool thing about the packaging on this, I just, I love that side art. So I made some sweet refrigerator magnets with my NECA toys. I'll be making one long one with each character, and then I'll make four separate, and they look really cool. All right, so let's start with Gozer. The Destructor and Traveler. Gozer is the ancient evil with a lot of aliases. And then the rest in different languages. So helpful information there. It looks like there are no safety straps in these, which is very exciting. That means there is no annoying sound effects. They're so crinkle. Look at that head. It's a pretty beefy figure. And it has a jaw hinge. So we've got a working mouth. I love it. I'm going to put him down right here. We have different hands with the, with the lightning on them. Which means the hands come off, so that's exciting. Before we look at anything else, look at that internal packaging. I love it. I love it. Proton Pack, Ecto-1. PKE meter. Very cool. Very cool stuff. Alright, so here is Gozer. Got some bendy action. It looks like it's got, yeah, it's got a lot of bending action. Uh, we've got rotating thighs. We've got bendable joints, bendable heel. It's got some nice platforms. Pretty good face. Pretty good face. I like it. I like it. Um, and these were twenty dollars each. The eyes are a little sloppy, but I'm willing to forgive that. Dana. Now I kind of wish there was a normal Dana too, not just the possessed Dana. Um, Azul. Wow, that is a big, beefy body. I also kind of like how they distribute this, so. She has, so Gozer has two hands with lightning bolts and the terror dog head. Now Dana does not come with any accessories except for big build a figure body and that is big. It's very light though, very hollow. And we'll put that together at the very end. Love Dana. It's fantastic. So the body still moves very well. I feel like the clothing is um, sculpted really well. It's a good material so you can bend. Face is pretty good. It's like Sigourney Weaver. Got our levitating. Looks good. I don't really, okay, there we go. I couldn't figure out that arm, but we got it now. That looks pretty good. I I enjoy this. I have a favorite Ghostbuster that I want to open last, but I don't think I have like a least favorite Ghostbuster. 
I don't. I love these Ghostbusters. I love each one. So we're just going to draw it random. So we've got Ray here. Another cool thing about the packaging. The design is all the same on the back except for the little string attached to the tag to the name to the, to the description. So that's pretty cool. Ray, the heart of the team. Ray's ready and more than willing to bust some ghosts. I didn't read Zool's. Dana Zool's. There is no Dana, only Zool. Oh. Could have told you that. All right, so we have the goggles with the head strap. We've got our terror dog left arm. We've got our proton. It's got a nice backpack and a little back uh, peg so it fits nice and snug. This has a lot of wiggle room. It's a little stiff, but uh, I imagine it's not going to move too much, especially because I'm going to display them. I keep looking down and thinking this is Peter, so the face is really good, but at the angle, the hairline looks like Peter. Pulling this out of the box, I'm immediately reminded of the real Ghostbuster figures. I just, I don't know why, I just was. This looks really great. I really like this. The belt has a lot of accessories all along the side of it. Got a nice little Ghostbuster patch. The side does not look like Ray, but the front does. So that's interesting. I will have to ask Ty what his look like. I don't have enough wiggle room to connect this part with the peg. Even stretching it, I don't have enough room. So we're going to find out about that. The hands, I don't know. This is the only thing. The hands are not as uh, workable. What, bud? I love you. I like it. Uh, I do wish there was a Proton Stream attachment for it. That's okay. All right, next we're going to go with Winston. How does Winston have a Proton Stream? I wonder if it all attaches. Why wouldn't they do it for everybody? I don't want to just have one. One Proton Stream? Was Venkman. Venkman's not good enough to be reckless with the proton stream like Winston? Come on. Come on! It does look like it just fits onto all of them, but I'm not very happy about that. Who's this? Exact same proton pack. No variation. The best toy stream I've seen, and I wish it was on all of them. I love that. I think that's great. Just wish it came with all of them. Oh, that's really cool. So if I do photography with it, I'll have to Photoshop those all on. Winston looks great. That looks great. I'm very happy with the way he looks. And of course, got to put this on. Ugh, that's just great, man. Hmm. It's frustrating they don't all come with this. They should all come with that. Ugh. Winston Zedmore, the voice of reason. Winston's the one you want in your corner when times get tough. 
<laughs> and here's Peter Venkman. Peter Venkman's here. The man with the mouth. Peter can convince almost anybody of almost anything. Mm, you don't really see Bill Murray here too much. All right, we got another leg. We got our trap. Got, that was really easy. Our identical proton pack. I see it, but um, it's not the best. For somebody who's like one of the faces of Ghostbusters, they didn't put as much time into him as they did everyone else. I just don't feel it. I just don't feel it. But I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's try this method. We're going to put it on first and then buckle him in. Or buckle him in and then plug him in. All right, so we're buckled. I mean, his belly is not that much bigger. What is going on here? And it fits on. All right, does this attach to the side? It does, okay. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. I like that. The zippers are all identical, so I think they're the exact same body. They just have... It's one way to do it. They all just have different heads and different name tags. Everything else is exactly the same. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hasbro. I realize there's not a whole lot different you could do with a with a jumpsuit, but you could put different wrinkles on it or something. Hasbro, come on. All right. And my favorite, my wife's favorite. I didn't appreciate Spengler, Egon Spengler, until I was much older. Um Brains of the Operation, Egon's your go-to guy for the best gear. Okay, my kids just made a big noise and didn't cry, so that's good. Our PKE meter, very, very tiny. And this looks the most like Harold Ramis. This is great. It looks fantastic. Dr. Egon Spangler. Give him his PKE meter. Give it to him in his left hand so he has his right hand free in case the ghost shows up. Looks like it's got a little peg so it plugs into his belt somewhere. Okay, so it goes into the very front of his belt. There's a little hole right there. Now, this will be funny. If every single character has a belt hole for the PKE meter, then you know. Now, this is a rubber add-on so it might not be. They all have the hole. Oh, they don't all have the hole because he has a spot for his goggles. So his goggles strap on here very loosely, but they do strap on. Alright, Winston, what we got? Winston has a hole in his belt. So they made two belts. One was for Egon and Ray. Or Egon and Ray has a different one. Interesting. Let's see, does Peter have a spot for the trap? Let's see. Walkie talkie. His strap, his buckle came off. I should, as a fan, I should know where the trap goes, and I don't know where the trap goes. Ugh. I'm sure my buddy Andy Heath is yelling at me right now on the screen. Not sure where that goes. Uh, okay, so one figure's hands come off. 
figure we should do this before it's too late. Sorry. Now, how does she stand with it? That's the question. Maybe that's why she's got the extra the extra body function that nobody has. Yes, that's how like it broke. Oh, that's good. All right, so we have Gozer. We have Peter. We have Egon. We have Winston Zedmore. We have Ray Stans. And Dana Barrett. All right, now we have the very important job of putting together the terror dog. God, this still blocks me. One? One proton stream? God, it's making my anxiety terrible. Why wouldn't they all have that? Ugh. All right. This is my first build a figure actually that I've put together. Looks pretty good. I mean, as you don't have to create a, a human's likeness, it's the most movie like of the figures. Looks really good. Tail's got some wiggle. Not that you need to. You can't pose it or anything. Uh, it's got some feet moving action. Let's get him to stand up. Yeah, it looks good. Um, because this head moves a little bit, there's quite a bit of a gap between the head and the <coughs> body. That's okay. You're not going to look at it from the back. So there's that. That looks good. If I was going to give these... Ghostbusters a number score. Um, I haven't done this before, so I don't know. Let's make up a system on the spot right here. Uh, we're going to do five. Let's do five ghosts. Five ghosts. So we're going to pick a rating out of five ghosts. On this video, he looks like he's got gray hair. That's weird. All right, so as a set all together, I would give this four ghosts out of five. It's a pretty good line. It's a pretty good line. I like it. Uh, the packaging is great. I really like the packaging. I like that I have to cut any straps out or untie any wires. That's individually, as a build a figure, I give this a five. I gave, give Dana a 4.5. Hi, what's up? Can you give me one more minute and I'll be upstairs? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. All right, so on the Peter Vinkman, I gave him a three. I gave I gave Vinkman a three, and it's mostly because of the likeness. Uh, it just doesn't scream Peter Vinkman. I'm glad I didn't open him last because I would have been disappointed. Uh, so Vinkman gets a three. Now these 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 three ghosts out of five ghosts and four ghosts out of five ghosts. They're not mathematically correct, so I'm not. I didn't do like an average and say, "Well, this calculation and this calculation." No, I didn't do that. So uh, four goes set of five for the whole set. Peter gets a three. I'm bummed about Peter. Uh, Ray, I give a four. Gozer. It's just the eyes. The eyes are a little mushy. If the eyes weren't mushy, this would be a five. So it's a four. Four out of five. Four ghosts out of five. Uh, I mean, Winston, I give a five. That's fantastic. And, I mean, on an anxiety meter alone, every, everyone gets a zero because only he has the proton pack. I mean, Z Gozer has, has the electricity, which is cool. But, I mean, like, this is phenomenal. And why, Hasbro... Did you not give everyone one? Hey, bro! Ah! Terror Dog is a five. And the only reason I can't give him a five, Spangler, I can't give Spangler a five, is because he doesn't have the Proton Stream. I feel like I need to dock everybody a point for not having a Proton Stream. That's, I mean, 
fuck can you do? Like, why are there not Proton Streams? Like, everything's universal. I guarantee it's going to fit on all the rest of them. Give me the Proton Stream for each one. Hasbro, I want you to send me three more Proton Streams or make it available on the site. Just make it a pack. I'll pay 10 bucks for it. Three Proton Streams. Four Proton Streams in case one breaks. Give me a Proton Stream.